Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and today I've got some new information about GTA 5 single player DLC that basically came from some coding that someone tweeted to me this entire post, and it's actually on some news sites, stuff like that, and I thought I'd cover it for you guys today, kind of show you what's going on with the new DLC and what it could possibly be uh, kind of entailing. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video here. The first thing is it kind of reconfirms the casino DLC. It has some coding talking about some of the different casino mini games, some of the different things that you can do, three mini games, and 12 new assassins assassination missions. Now the big thing is coming up, the big big thing is coming up, but the 12 new assassination missions have things like skydive, cable car, different assassination missions that probably will only be in GTA single player, simply because they're assassination missions, Lester has assassination missions, and we do have GTA 5 single player DLC coming at some point. We haven't got any single player exclusive DLC so far, but this would be a great first way to do it. This would be a great way to start off the single player DLC season. But the real, real big one is probably only going to be single player if we really, really think about it. And it's something that I've actually talked about in the past that I'm so, so excited about. It is actual zombie possible possible zombie coding. It is basically these different DLC images, and this image right here kind of shows you uh, the G numbers are the different DLCs that were basically at, at one point planned or are still coming to GTA Online. There were some similar ones farther up in the code that actually had the exact DLCs that had already come out before, but this one may or may not have been scrapped, and it is probably going to be single player DLC, but it says main underscore ZMB. There's really only one, uh, one thing that ZMB can stand for that I can think of anyway. If you guys have any other ideas, let me know in the comment section down below but that is probably referring to zombies. Now, whether or not this was a scrap DLC, whether or not this is still coming, whether or not it's going to be single player or online, more than, more than likely single player, just keep that in mind, just because zombies online would be so, so much stress on the servers, especially for uh, this current gen, the Xbox 360 and PS3, so much stress, it probably couldn't run it. But it, that's just, that's huge, huge news. I've been talking about this for a long, long time. I think I did a video a couple months ago saying uh, zombie DLC would be very, very easy to implement. So many people would love it, everyone loves zombies, and uh, Red Dead Redemption already had some zombie similar coding that you could just put into this game. And obviously it'd be just a little different, but you have the images, you have things like that. You have things that you could reuse to actually make a GTA zombie DLC and the game looks absolutely perfect for it. So uh, anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. This comes from a reliable source and I'll link the actual article in the description that I kind of pulled images off of here that my subscriber linked me. So anyway, guys, my name is NoJ456. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, hi ho, Kermit the Frog here. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss a video from Noah. Better hurry because if you don't do it soon, I'll hunt you down. <laughs>